today's video, we're going to replace some stereo speakers. These are some Bazooka Marine style speakers. Uh, the one on this side is a little blown. It kind of crackles um, when you turn up the volume. So I'm still very impressed with the speakers overall. So I ordered uh, the exact uh, same model. Um, so it's going to make it a little easier to swap out since uh, I know they'll fit. Now if you're putting speakers into a new place, the first thing you're going to have to do uh, is make sure they're compatible. Or if you are mounting them in an entirely new space, you're going to have to uh, mark your area to the proper size and then use a jigsaw, probably first a drill hole and then a jigsaw to cut out the correct size opening. Let's go ahead and open up what's in the box, take a look at what we have. All right, so in the box we have the two speakers. There's also some stainless steel hardware. This is nice um, for mounting. And we have a Powered by Bazooka mobile audio sticker. That's cool. Some speaker cables with the attachments on them. What I was really hoping for was a template. For mounting them, but so far no dice on that. being said there are a couple of cardboard pieces I don't know that looks a little too big of a hole but these are six and a half inch so presumably if you measure it you need a six and a half inch hole all right next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and clear the space up over the speakers Alright, cleared most of this area. And I'm taking off the slide on connectors for the speakers. Now, their removal should be just a matter of removing the screws that are holding them there.
All right. As you can see there, we've had some uh, mud divers inhabit this. These look a little bit uh, well used. And uh, I ordered some covers that are going to go over this on the inside, some plastic domes. They just haven't arrived yet, but as soon as they do, I'll tack that onto this video so that you can see how I'm hoping to prevent this blowing out and uh, having problems in the future. Well, I have to say, if there's any doubt, <laughs> this one is not still good. Um, let me try to show you what that cone looks like in there. It's seen some better days. So, wow, that's surprising. Because I really expected that the other one was the problem. I would have liked to let you listen to them so you could hear the, the cracking noise, but that would mean I'd have to turn the radio on and play some music that's copywritten invariably YouTube would flag it and that would cause me all kinds of problems so you just have to take my word for it All right, so there we go, first one installed. Didn't go quite as smoothly as I had hoped. The, uh, <laughs> the holes were not really aligned very well from the previous install, whoever put them in, but all right, let's try the other side. Hopefully this other side will go in a little more cooperatively. All right, there we go. Just need to plug in the wires. All right, and we are done. We'll go ahead and turn the battery on. I did have the battery turned off just to make sure we didn't have any electrical uh, safety issues. And now we're just waiting on the protective caps that are going to mount over the top. Since that is a kind of storage space, I don't want uh, anything to get dropped into the speaker cone. Um, or those wasps and mud divers getting in there like they did last time and hopefully these will last a lot longer well those lasted long enough too before i got the boat so uh next part will be installing those domes so i'm waiting on that and then i'll finish the video up and post it online all right so here's the next part of this video we uh we did take the boat out 
over the weekend and played the new speakers on the radio and I have to say it really sounds fantastic and in the meantime we got in the covers I was telling you about that I'm going to install on the back. You see they're kind of dome shaped they have four mounting holes and there's a little offset right here for where the wires hook up although there's a crossover on this speaker and I'll probably put the crossover on this side and route the wire out.